Hello guys, we're going to do a Doctor Who DVD collection. First off, we're going to do the 60s with the Lost in Time box set. It's pretty good. I like the stories in it. It's kind of it's very engaging to watch them. But it's kind of sad how you get to watch some, but not all. No for the child. It's, it's okay. First parts look beautiful. The, the Go Down History is some of the best, best, better episode. One of the better episodes. The other three parts are pretty... Blackluster kind of picks up at the end. The oh, no, the Daleks. It's very good. A bit uninviting for a seven-part story, but I've watched as I am a fan of John Pertwee's Doctor. It's not the end of the world. Well, it's not as bad. Sorry, I just kind of can get through a bit simpler. Edge of Destruction. It's quite good. I think I enjoy the story quite a bit but I like watching the Marco Polo reconstruction on it that's why if I ever get it out to, to watch that Keys Marinus I think it's a bit like the Key to Time if you like the Key to Time story arc you'll like this story a lot The Daleks Invasion of Earth it's, it's a good story it's six parts long and it's quite good I don't know if I prefer this or the Dalek story. I'd probably go with the Daleks just because I like the scar setting and stuff. Ark. It's quite a good story. It's um it's cool because I mean the first part first two story parts, Dodo's I mean not Dodo, the humans are the rulers of the planet, and then the second part is the monoids. The tenth planet it's a great story. Simon men are arguably at their best in the 60s, and I think this proves that their first story is so great, powerful, they're so menacing. Sad that William Hartnell doesn't do as much as he could do, but still not the end of the world. Team of the Cybermen, it's pretty good. I like Victoria in it. Patrick Charlton's great in this episode, and I like Jamie in it. I've not seen Enemy of the World because I picked it up recently. Invasion's great. The Simon design's pretty good. It's like the basis of how Series 7 is with Unit and the Doctor. And I think Tobias Vaughn is a great villain and so good that you don't even really care that the Cybermen aren't in it for ages. Caesar's Death is apparently better than Ice Warriors. However, I haven't seen either of them, so it's a big one to watch. War Games, the 10 part epic. I haven't watched it because of how long it is. I just haven't found the time, but it's apparently the, one of those best stories ever. Spared from Space, beautiful story. It's probably one of the better ones of, it's probably one of the best ones of Pertwee Zero. Solarians, definitely the best story involving the Solarians, the Sea Devils and stuff, out of all of Doctor Who. Bastards of Death, my favourite one of Series 7. I, I'll defend it for until... I die, it's just really good. Inferno, everyone enjoys it. I find it a bit of a last lackluster way to end the season. I watched it quite recently. And it's really boring. The first two parts are boring until the only intro it picks up when the brigade leader comes in and section leader Elizabeth Shaw. But otherwise it's pretty boring. Terror of the Autons, the great introduction to the Master and as Roger Dalgarza and Katie Manning as Joe Grant. Yeah, the, it's pretty good. I can didn't I got this as with the Monica Mini box set, but I got it mainly for Spearhead from Space. Then Day of the Daleks. Favourite Dalek stories from the favourite Dalek story that doesn't involve Davros. It's very good. I like the Ogrons in it, the Daleks are pretty good in it. And so yeah, it's pretty good. Curse of Peladon. It's, it's okay. I like the Doctor. And I like the King Peladon, I like Joe Grant. I re I'm one of the people who kind of likes Alpha Centuria, I think, because she's quite funny. The I it's, the, it's kind of sad that the um, Ice Warriors are in it, but they don't do very much, they're just there. That's kind of sad, but it's okay. Sea Devils, I think it's a bit overrated. The Master's good in it, the Sea Devils are pretty good in it. But I find that it kind of suffers from the fact that the Sea Devils don't do as much because the Master's in it. Which is sad and I wish that the Sea Devils had more time to shine rather than the Master always didn't being in at all. Oh, Three Doctors. It's pretty good. It's a good story. I like Omega. He's a great villain. Pertwee and Troughton. 
that's just comedic and I'll prove that later on and Carnival Monsters it's okay so those designs are weirder it's like that it's like if you think Colin Baker's where it has a strange sense of style then they have a he has a stranger sense of style I'm telling you the Jurassic's are pretty cool though Frontier in Space it's it's okay Roger Del Garden is the master's last appearance Draconians are quite good in it though and yeah, the Ogrons are just there, which is always nice. I like the Ogrons from the day of the Daleks. But the Daleks, it's okay. I always find it funny that the Genesis design is in this in these serials. And um in this serial and the other serials. The um King thing, the uh, oh, the High Council Dalek or whatever is the is quite cool, but I wish it had been in more episodes. More yeah, the episodes. Time Warrior, it's quite good. I think it's not as good as some of the ones that come after it, but some people a lot adore it, so I'm not going to try and get into an argument. Death to the Daleks, it's, it's, it's okay, it's, it's just there. It's the worst, weakest one out of Pertwee's Dalek stories, in my opinion. Monster of Peladon, prefer this to Curse of Peladon, mainly due to the fact that Half a Century knows the Doctor, and so it's cooler. And also, the Ice Warriors actually eat her a villain, which is cool. Then the Ark in Space, good. It's the first proper story for the Fourth Doctor because the robots is a post regeneration story, which means it's always going to be a bit different. Which, but this is like his first proper story, and he does it really well in it. He's he looks born to be the Doctor in it. So it's an experiment. It's famous for when the Fourth Doctor broke his collarbone. This I prefer this to Time Warrior. Just, I like the designs of the Santarans more and the whole premise. And also, if you're going to come into, if you're going to come from New Who to Classic Who and watch some classic, this would be the one to ease you in, as it's two parts long, which is the same length as one Doctor Who episode of the New Who. Genesis for Daleks. It's just Genesis for the Daleks. There's no point in me saying anything because you all know it's, pretty, it's really good. Revenge of the Cybermen. It's a very good episode. It's, it's Revenge of the Cybermen. It's. Not just kind of a love hate relationship with some people. It's a bit like Marmite, you don't like it or you do like it. I like it, it's quite good. Then a massive jump. I have no series 13 and I jump straight to series 14 with Deadly Assassin. Very good. In my, I think it's the only, I believe it's the only episode that contains the Doctor without a companion. I like it, I find it quite good. And now we're onto the trilogy of DVDs that I love to death. The Robots of Death, ironically, is really good. I like the Doctor. Leela is growing, my, growing to be one of my favourite companions. The Robots are very good in it. The villain is just quite good. And also the Black ro the black Detective Robot that helps him is quite cool. Talons of Wen Chang. Some people don't like it because of its racial, its racial issues. But if you're watching it without the racial issue, without the worry of racial issues, it's okay. It's quite. It's very good. I watched it before I knew about all these racial issues things, and it's just great to watch for fun. Horrifying Rock, quite cool, and I think it starts to lead into the problem of the eighties with the darker tones. As the Doctor who comes in, goes into a lighthouse, is in this lighthouse with like not eight. Is like ten or something other people, and him and Lee are the only ones who actually come out of it. I'm sorry if I spoiled that for you, but yeah. Some makers, it's not. I've not watched it, but it's quite apparently quite cool. Vision of Time. It's 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 the weakest Sontaran story. I mean, it's not bad by any stretch. It's quite cool, but the Sontaran's only in it in the last two parts. I hate Leela's departure, considering I like I like her more as a companion. I've grown to like her more. I wish she'd stayed for longer, and I don't like her departure. Destiny of the Daleks, it's quite cool. Lola the Ward's very good in as Romana. I think she was very good. She's very, she's very good as Romana. I pref I wish David Goodson... I wish Michael Wisher... Sorry, oops. I wish Michael Wisher played the Davros in this, but David Goodson's okay. City of Death. Meh. Five Doctors. That's why I like... Charlton and Pertwee, they're very good. Warriors of the Deep, it's okay. Resurrection, 
It's very good. I love Resurrection of the Daleks. I think it's my favourite. Oh, 80s story. Okay, Zanjazani. Let's find it a bit overrated. Then jump to the sixth doctor with the two doctors. Very good. Fraser Hines is Jamie and second doctor. Very good in it. I like the sixth doctor in it as well. This is when it starts to get a bit worse. Revelation is a bit dark, but I like it. And then we go to the trial of the Tom season with the first one. Just arguably the worst one. Robert Holmes does good writing, but you just need to get a bit started. It's just not very good. If you've watched it before, you don't really need to watch it again. My more not watched, I've only watched it once, but it's, it's meh. I haven't watched Vengeance of Varro, so maybe that's why, but you know. Terror of the Vervoids is my favourite one. It's just great. I think it just great. And then the Flackluster End. I wish Eric Sayward had let them use his storyline. Then a big jump to Series 25 with Remembrance of the Daleks. I mean, it's, it's the Remembrance of the Daleks. It's a love-hate relationship. But it's like, you love it. It's you love it, and you love it. Well, I just prefer Genesis. So for Nemesis, I got this with the Revenge, which is over here. And I kind of, like, I like it, but I prefer Revenge. I got it for Revenge. Oh. Battlefield is pretty good. It's meh. I like Gene March in it, and Gene, Gene Marsh in it, and uh, the Brigadiers in it. And it's his last appearance in... Doctor Who, God, it keeps falling, it keeps falling, I'm sorry. Ghost Light, just, just, no one knows what Ghost Light is, it's just weird. Curse of Fenric, I've been watching this again recently, it's pretty good. Survival, it's an, it's an okay way to end off the series. So yeah, it's pretty good. I also own the movie, and that's okay. But I, I can't find it. Alright. Thanks for watching.